Hi, this is Matt, and today I'm going to have a quick look at how to install the Chrome Beta Client. So if you're not part of the VMware Anywhere Workspace Early Access Program, you'll need to create an account in there. Um, I previously logged in and downloaded the 2111 uh, Chrome Beta. Once that's downloaded on my Chromebook, that will appear in my downloads. And then all I did was, you can install some unzip programs, but I just created a new folder. And then I went into the zip and copied and pasted all the relevant files into that new folder. Um, again, like I say, there's probably multiple ways of doing this, but this is just the way that I did it. And then what you need to do is go into your uh, extensions. Again, multiple ways of doing it, but just for the purposes of this, I'll do it this way. You can see I've already got that in there. Uh, so I go into developer mode, apologies into load mode and do load unpacked and then essentially go back up to downloads you'd highlight the new folder and click open i've already done that so there's no point doing that again and then that would bring that um, extension into there you can then do a couple of things once that's there you can come into the search and launch horizon client manually or what i'm going to do is via the vmware test drive platform there is a demo environment. So I've gone into the Workspace ONE uh, platform, authenticated. And then from here, you can see uh, I've got a number of SaaS apps and web apps, as well as my remote desktop session host. So if I click on that, that should be configured then to launch the Chrome client. There's options. You can use an HTML5 based client, or you can use the full client. And what I'm doing here is using that full client, just personal preference. And there we go. I'm connected to my um, VMware Test Drive desktop. Um, one of the features of the new Chrome client is uh, Teams offload and optimization. But unfortunately, I don't have Teams installed here. So that's something I have to look at, see if I can do for a later video. But just to, to show, connecting from the UK. And if I look at performance tracker, you can see my bandwidth uh, availability, um, which seemed kind of low. You know, there's probably other things going on in my network at the moment, uh, as well as the bam uh, sorry, the latency that I'm getting, so round trip and the type of communication I'm using, whether that's UDP or TCP. You can see I'm using TCP. Um, you know, the way it looks to me and feels is pretty responsive, even with that latency. Um, on the video, it may not reflect that, but if I'm scrolling through the menu or um, I'm subsequently launching applications, it, it seems to, to feel quite slick and um, more than acceptable. So, all right, let me just go off for a minute and let me launch one of these. Yeah, I mean, it's like I say, the, the responsiveness is good. Um, and I could quite easily sit and work here on this. Um, but yeah, I really just wanted to show you how to, to install the beta clients if you want to have a test of yourself. Um, and uh, yeah, like I say, you need to get that from the beta site. So hopefully you found that of use.